Well, go on. I know Paul is not you guys. So, welcome back to Everything Empo. <laughs> Empo, my dear man. So, for today's video, it's going to be a perfume video. It's been a minute since we do like perfume, perfume videos. It's always mostly fragrant mist. I'm going to tell you guys anything you want. You can also request it uh, down below. Even if get, I'm going to reply right away, I'm going to do see because again, YouTube is not really <laughs> like my job job my pride is outside of it but i do see it and i'll get around to it i probably won't have it but just to get to review to um certain things that i must say i have so much stuff but it's just to get to putting it up so anyway there is this one particular perfume from um viva la juicy must be trying to get and that's the one that it sit into the cupcake it named the saga no i can't remember the name but you know that one we'll probably find a picture and put it up but it did first come, it just go bam and go away. But I'm going to keep on a try, try, try get it. And pan EBS so of the price, so people want feet. I'm like, nah. So if I'm going to get my hand on it, I So I'm going to go back again on Walmart and try. And then these popped up. Uh, these were made in France. So I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. It is the Tutti Delice. D-E-L-I-C-E-S or Delices. Because you know French. But these pop up in the form of cupcake and i was like hmm all right on my end i would say affordable what was affordable for me might not be affordable for you at the time when i purchased it it was going for 19.99 and before i actually did a video i think it got up to like 24 dollars don't quote me but again walmart they're all 50 ml and this is just your fruity playful or you know you like them like a decorative um Cologne sitting on your dresser, then you will love it. Now, these are all edit toilets, so don't look for it to last long on its own unless you layer it up. And these are great for laying it up, but long enough for just want to see the product. I know, but I just I couldn't know. So, on its own, before I forget, it can give you a nice tree to try push for, but they're right there in the tree on its own. But if you layered up with whether it's a fragrance mist. Our next perfume, it really lasts long and it complements anything you're trying to pull from the family within. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show the packaging. So I'm going to push this back. I'm going to put on the next sleeve. So you can see. Right? So keep it in frame so you can see. Bend this up. I'm not edit nothing right as, as so I do it. I'm going to see and just see and so I'm going to start off with, before I'm going to get a full rotation. So as you can see, the name is to the side, which is Strawberry Sweet. And then you have the notes right behind as well. I'm just showing you what the product looks like. So again, no, no, it's fine. So straight to the point and all of them is basically the same, same thing with the notes and what it looks like, etc, etc. For me, I really like it. The only thing based on me with preference is so the way they have it like here, here, here. I wish the top, the covering, the look could not right. You like what the strawberry? I wish this was a strawberry sitting as the cover instead of this. It's not bad enough. It's just little and cute, but like I said, just half of that. Anyway, so this is strawberry sweet. The top note is strawberry. The middle note is whipped cream. And the base is musk and vanilla. And it is simply that all three. Legit all three. Just like that. And yes, the strawberry do gives you that um cupcake -y art. If you know it's not the real fruit itself, but it's not bad. That makes sense. Right? You know it's strawberry, you can't sniff until it's strawberry, but it's not the natural fruity strawberry, and it's not over the sweet, but it's just right there. And the whipped cream, you can tell it's mostly the whipped cream. It's almost like a whipped cream. Uh, strawberry if that makes sense okay and then next up we have the vanilla caramel and for the vanilla caramel it is top note milk notes and coconut milk for the middle we have toffee white sandal and for the base it's moss vanilla and sandal this is very very creamy like you know it is uh vanilla but it's a creamy think of um you're making coffee and you use the um what name 
the crema like a coffee cream you know they have the french crema or the vanilla it come like it's a vanilla based crema or if you have the uh starbucks you know you ask for the the cold foam in vanilla you know that that that, that smell of the kind of vanilla there that creamy uh tea vibes coffee-esque vanilla that is what this is again real nice so i mean look like a cupcake and i bought just this it nice but this almost give it that like a cheap so you can you imagine if this was actually like the, the vanilla just sitting on top amplified even more then we have the cotton candy for cotton candy it's top note powdered sugar the middle is red berries and sugar wood and for the base it's caramelized sugar white musk and vanilla now normally we come on to um cotton candy right so you know that cotton candy smell like even if it's from pink or if it's what other brand product you know that you know that cotton candy smell you know what i'm saying so yeah this this is almost like a raspberry cotton candy like you don't just say cotton candy you have to literally hence it's saying red berries you don't just say oh cotton candy you have to say raspberry cotton candy that's what this is this is so good i really really love it. it's not juvenile or it's not again remember it's just something to layer up so if you have something with raspberry and you want to pull the raspberry more out of it then this this will definitely pull that strawberry you known out of it very well really really nice i like this um cotton candy sometimes when the cotton candy dry down you know it tends to turn almost like sour or it wants tinkish like you know them perfume you know, when it sit on it starts smell bad i'm a spoil thing but you notice the cotton candy perfume some tends to do that but not this one not this one and then last but not least we have the candy apple the top note is pear and lemon the middle note is jasmine rose and h-e-l-l -L, and then i-o-e-o -E and then t-r-o-p what is it hilatherapy what is that h-e-l-i listen the man in big words something i can't bother and then the base we have vanilla toffee and woody note now for this to be candy apple they honestly should have called this candy pear this legit smell like when you the same thing that you would do to make a candy apple same thing you do with the the pear get a nice ripe yellow pear and then you boil it and then you go dip it in the syrup so this is just should have been called candy pear to be honest with you i'm not getting the apple at uh, like straight pear if you're looking for something with a pear scent and i'm not talking about no mm, just pure pear like a little it's almost like a caramelized pear like well caramelized think of going at um we don't call it a carnival or a fear and instead of the it being the the candy apple at the start of the show it's really about pear again this year is mostly things to do with pear so pick up this one which is the candy apple but you're going to get strictly pear no and again even when we don't name it i didn't name apple into it like again the top note is pear and lemon so this should have been called candy pear really really nice again got them off walmart and you know cheap and clean can do it need for do and um yes yeah, so i'll catch you guys into the next and as always thank you for your continuous support and i'll catch you guys into the next <laughs> you bye-bye